dozens of howler monkeys drop dead from the trees as heatwave rages in Mexico. Mexico is so hot that howler monkeys have been dropping dead out of the trees. At least 83 of the primates, who are known for their roaring calls, were found dead in the Gulf Coast state of Tabasco where temperatures are forecast to surpass 45 Celsius this week. Others were rescued by residents, including five that were rushed to a local vet who battled to save them. They arrived in critical condition, with dehydration and fever. They were as limp as rags. It was heatstroke, said Dr. Sergio Valenzuela. A nationwide drought and heat waves have sent temperatures soaring across much of the country. In a statement over the weekend, Tabasco's Civil Protection Agency attributed the deaths to dehydration. A source from the agency said that monkeys have been confirmed dead in three municipalities of the state. In a forest outside Camelcalco, Tabasco, volunteers collected the corpses of mantled howler monkeys that died from high temperatures, before placing buckets of water and fruit to try to stave off more deaths. The mantled howler monkey is classified as vulnerable on the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, red list. It is because the heat is so strong. I've been visiting the states for a long time and I have never felt it as much as now. So, yes, we have to care for the animals and yes, we are going to do it," Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador, who is from Tabasco, when asked about the primate deaths. Wildlife biologist Gilberto Pozo counted about 83 of the animals dead or dying on the ground under trees who have died from heat-related causes between the start of Mexico's heat season on March 17 and May 11. By May 9 at least nine cities in Mexico had set temperature records, with Ciudad Victoria, in the border state of Tamaulipas, clocking a broiling 47 Celsius. This is a sentinel species. It is telling us something about what is happening with climate change, Mr. Pozo said, referring to the canary in a coal mine effect where one species can say a lot about an ecosystem, 